Hey guys, Ryan Earnhardt here from CreativeSoundLab.tv. Well, today we're checking out a really interesting microphone by Earthworks. It's called the SR314. It's actually kind of marketed as a live vocal microphone, but I would argue that it's actually much more than that, and I'm going to put it to the test today. I'm going to use it in some examples and uh, some audio demos that probably aren't the intended idea for this mic, but I think it actually really shines. It's a really good all-arounder. So we're going to put it to the test today. Let's kick it off. I wanted to check out this mic because I thought it would be a really good blend of the two worlds. We have a live microphone that's a very high-end uh, microphone for vocalist on stage, but we also have a great sounding condenser mic that could be used for home recordings. So if somebody's traveling a lot, doing some acoustic gigs, but they also do some recording, this is a mic that literally could do everything that they would need. And speaking of which, let's hear this mic on acoustic guitar. Now, let's hear it on vocal. Well, I'll pack up and leave this town tonight. Then maybe I'll stand a chance to win this fight. The fight I have to win inside my head. As I lie awake at night in my bed. These nights are getting easier to sleep alone. Without someone to call my own And I have found this lesson to be true That the right thing's the hardest thing to do Yeah, I was really pleased with this sound. It had just the right amount of character and lows of his voice, but also had some nice clarity too. In fact, we actually talked about this as we were doing the recording test. Here's a little bit of me and my friend Justin talking about our initial impressions of the mic. It's good. Yeah. It's really good. It's hard to tell a lot of the difference between the mics just in the headphones. Right, yeah. But with this one, I, could, I think I could tell the most difference so far out of what we switched, like, really? throughout this process of switching. Oh, yeah? Since when we started, I can, at least in the headphones, I can notice, like, a bigger difference in it. It sounds a little more, like well-rounded i guess on my voice if that makes yeah. sense like just kind of the way that it kind of takes the sharpness and kind of smooths it out oh, nice. but it's nice like it's it's yeah. a nice warm yeah, tone it sounds, to it it sounds great
those were kind of the obvious first test, but I wanted to take this further. I mean, this looks like a really, really nice snare mic, doesn't it? So we gotta try it on some drums, and then after that, we gotta try it on some guitar caps. First up, let's do it on overhead, just to kind of work our way from the top down. So here it is on drum overhead. Here it is on snare drum. Next up, let's do it on guitar amp. Okay, so in this example, you can see attached to the red cable, right before it goes into the head of the snake, that I'm using the precision level pad. And this is just knocking down the signal so that I don't overdrive my preamp. However, I notice that this mic, I mean, it is a condenser mic, and if I put it right up on the grill of this very loud amplifier, it, it was just too much volume. So perhaps for a low volume amplifier, it'd be fine. But if you have an amplifier that is literally shaking the building and it's just roaring loud, then you're going to have to back up the mic. It just needed a little bit of distance to knock off 3 or 4 dB. Okay, so I'd love to know your thoughts on this. I think overall, the SR314 is a really good all-rounder. It comes at a price point of several hundred dollars though. So it's more expensive than a low-end condenser mic but I would say based on the performance and, and based on other mics that I've heard in my collection on the same day that we did this test on Justin with this SR314, this mic easily outperforms mics that are twice or three times the cost. In fact, this really doesn't sound like a small diaphragm. It sounds like a really nice large diaphragm and it's really quite flattery on a voice. Even though it's a clean, lifelike, realistic sound, it actually sounds really, really good. So tell me what you think of the test today in the comments below. I'll be hanging out there.